please join welcome back everybody our first guest Yoshinori Ono from Capcom. <laughs> One of my favorite guys in video gaming. Up there with Miyamoto, even. He's like yeah. the new generation of Miyamoto. You remember this guy? He's like the Elton John of Capcom. <laughs> you remember him? Yes, I remember oh, him. Oh, yeah. Do you want to stretch? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, talking about Street Fighter today. <laughs> 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 the best guy! He is so genuine! He comes out, this is how he, he is. He ran out. Everybody, yes, he ran, he's out of uh, front. Everybody Yogi. who talks about this, this is the guy who went just into kidding. the hospital because he worked himself too hard on, on Street Fighter. Oh, um, flying all Buddy. over. He was the one who, after getting off of a plane, sleeping two hours, and about to go into work the next day, went into his bathroom and it was a hallway yeah. or something. Right. And like, he just passed out. Oh, like God. he's, uh, but but everybody who meets him say he's the most amazing, insane, over the top. He is energy. Aww. So good morning. I'm good. No, good, good evening, everyone. <laughs> so and good morning, those and in, in Japan. <laughs> I have really been looking forward to tonight the presentation. You have no idea how badly I wanted to see it about it. <laughs> but I present. <laughs> it feels good to finally be able to talk about this stuff. I hope you are like, eager to listen as well. <laughs> this event is, is being streamed to Japan as we speak. So we will be uh, conducting this uh, presentation in both Japanese and English. It's translator will come in in a second. It would be amazing if in Japanese he's just like, Surikase. This just goes on like a really serious multiple sheet. Capcom's technology and the games themselves have changed a great deal over the years, keeping pace with PlayStation's evolving technology and business style. Biohazard to you title this. You gotta be able to like remember all the little points. The technology yeah. of the original. What about the ones that talk over? Yeah. Imagine me doing that. And then like, you know, like the Sega Genesis games. Good. He said something about hello. So he's just basically talking about their Capcom's history with PlayStation. PlayStation Two allows to create visually stunning titles and engines newly developed graphical engines. Titles such as the Unimusha series and Devil May Cry without the possibility of the technology of the PS2 cartridge. Like um, an amiable character for the English people as well. <laughs> well, I like how the uh, Shigeru Miyamoto's translator tries to act like him. The PSP allowed us for the first time to take our PlayStation experience out of the living room and into the world, using communication technology to bring such experiences like the Monster Hunter series to life. So Monster Hunter's coming. It's coming to the Wii U soon. Excited about that. Not bad about that. The Street Fighter series could muster upon its rebirth. The progression and evolution of the Resident Evil series and the utter fear that it instills. All this immersion, all these fantastic effects. We owe it to the PlayStation 3 format. And now here we are with the announcement of the PlayStation 4. We are proud to help usher in a new era of entertainment. So here is, um, oh yeah, he, he announces codename Panta Ray. It's, it's their, uh, every, everybody has like a new engine now. Um, Some screenshots of it. I haven't really heard much about this engine yet. Well, again, the benefit of the PlayStation 4 running an x86 chip now is that these developers have been working on these engines forever and they don't have to make these engines run on the PlayStation. They just run on the PCs they've been developing this engine on forever now. And that's why, pretty much, you know, the fact that Nintendo didn't go to x86 is a little worrisome. But anyways. This new engine, codenamed Pantaray, by taking advantage of current technology and providing the tools necessary to harness it, will allow us to take game design in entirely new directions. I'd like to show you a little something represents a new IP running. I'm just saying Panty Raid. Yeah, I was like, I can't do that. Panty Raid. It realized. So here's a demo for um, a new, a brand new IP from Capcom. <clears throat> Riri. And I immediately thought, what? But. Swords? Does he mean new by their newest? That would be Dragon's Dogma. And this looks like Dragon's Dogma 2, maybe. Which would really excite me. 
This is called Deep Down, a working title, <laughs> which is also has the, that uh, the, me. the, the initials DD. Mm. Are they being cheeky and this is Dragon's Dogma 2, but they don't want to confirm that yet, or they don't want you to speculate too much yet? Mm. It's possible. It's happened in the past. It's happening right now, in fact. Metal Gear Solid 3, yeah. I mean 5, is being introduced as, what was it? Phantom, Phantom Pain. Pain. Yeah. But in fact, it's probably Metal Gear Solid 5. So is this Dragon's Dogma Deep Down? Same universe confirmed? It's oh, confirmed? It's totally it. But yeah, okay. Look at this guy. Yeah, yeah like it just, yeah. It, it, it has to be, right? Uh, but the thing is, the guy comes out after and says a brand new IP. Well, wouldn't brand new mean not your newest? Like, saying new, you can get away with it. Because yeah. if you say a new IP, well, it's technically still new if it's your newest IP. But he comes out after and says brand new. Anyways, whatever. Confirmed, apparently, it's in the same universe. Dragon's Dogma is one of the best experiences right now I feel like you can play. I recommend it to everybody. And this looks incredible on the new engine. Oh! Yeah. Them reflections. Good drips. Yeah! Stalagmites and stalactites. Lens flares. There's even a little menu down there. You can't really see it, guys, but it's... Uh... <coughs> oh, boy. Fire wow. Oh. Dragons oh. breathe out like napalm. <laughs> yeah. Fire. Yes. Uh, it depends on the universe. Yeah. Some of them, it's brimstone inside their stomach. Fuck. Some of them have multiple sacks that combine chemicals yeah. to make yeah. fire. Oh. Cool. Huh. Kind of like a flamethrower. Never thought about the like logistics of it. Guys do. I'm not a guy. <laughs> Girls are all just like, oh my god, it's a dragon! <laughs> I, save me, boyfriend, save me! <laughs> <laughs> I grew up <coughs> always trying to figure out the logistics of dragons breathing fire. Huh. Um, so, again, it looks amazing. It almost looks to me like a combination of Dragon's Dogma and um, a game that I want to play on the show soon, uh, Dark Souls. Um, you hear that, buddy? Especially the slogan, conquer your fear, or, you know, the mention of die a coward. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Uh, oh. I'm gonna fight this dragon, I'm gonna call you a coward. It's gonna die. That's really hot. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, jeez. I think you're gonna melt, Oh, dude. shit. Jesus Christ. Hold Supposedly in game engine, wow. and, um. Pretty badass. Yoshi. What the? This is him sending a message to uh, I see. the guy that was uh. on stage. <laughs> he is famous for dressing up as Blanca. Oh god, yeah. really? Um, awesome. And this is supposed to be their half-hearted demo of the so that there will be social features mm. in this game. Probably won't look like that. Anyways, it's cute. Uh, so sure, that's, uh, I mean, yeah, um, by the way, Ben, like, really, if you're going to be ever playing any game at this point, Dragon's Dogma. you really should play Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> it's fucking Well, awesome. I wasn't sure if we were going to pick it up on the uh, show game ever, so. Yeah. It's like, as much as I loved it, it wasn't really for the show. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> and the other thing about Dragon's Dogma, I think I've said this before, but it is an exciting IP from Capcom, a company that I feel like has been really stagnant. Mm. And just for a Japanese game company, an entire industry that's been stagnant for stagnant for a long time, making something fresh like Dragon's Dogma. Some people say they're kowtowing to the West and just making Sorry. a Western style of game, but it feels like a good combination of Japanese and Western. And I welcome it. I think it's it's great, and I can't wait to see the sequel because they did such a great job. So as we speak, Deep Down is being developed concurrently with the Panta Ray engine. So working with the power technology behind PlayStation 4 brings us all sorts of brand new experiences. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation. Thank you. See you later, buddy. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> he dressed up as poison, <laughs> apparently. Nice. What? The 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 transvestite? The band poison? No. All the members of Poison? <coughs> They're the saying CC, poison the from singer. Final oh, Fight? Final Fight's Poison is a pink-haired transvestite. Nice. Oh, really? Yes, <laughs> in like jean awesome. shorts. Yeah, yeah, I know the guy. <laughs> well, or her. The, her. No, the, it's more of her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess. A yeah. Beautiful, beautiful trap. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's awesome. Oh, he is so cool. <laughs> uh, oh, poison <laughs> Brett Michaels Poison. 
<clears throat> yeah, so we'll separate these two. Next up is Square Enix. Stay tuned as Video Games Awesome Live continues with more game demos. Whoop.